Home Link 2-6. Today your lesson was um, unit conversions. Students were to use unit conversions within the U.S. customary system to solve multi-step problems. Multi-step problems were our problems that were more than one. It says, ask someone at home to help you find the following items. A one cup measuring cup or a coffee mug, a large bowl, a stopwatch or a clock, a 12 inch ruler or a measuring tape, a food package with a weight given in pounds. Now if you don't have those things, maybe look something up on the internet or use what you have at home. You also have a great little resource to your right, I'm circling it in red, it gives you some conversions. So one cup is also eight fluid ounces. One minute is 60 seconds. One foot is 12 inches and one pound is 16 ounces. It says, one, pour cups of water into the large bowl. A coffee mug holds about one cup of water. How many cups of water does it take to fill the bowl? My large bowl took six cups of water to fill the bowl. So now it says convert your measurements to fluid ounces. So I have one cup equals eight. So I'm going to underline that in green. I'm looking right here. But I have six of them. So I need to do eight times six. And eight times six is Forty-eight. So I had forty-eight ounces, fluid ounces. Time to at time or estimate how long it takes you to walk around your block in minutes. So you might take a walk or estimate. Now convert your measurement to seconds. So however many minutes. So we're going to look at our next little conversion. One minute equals 60 seconds. You're going to take however, whatever number took you here and multiply it by 60 to get your seconds. It says measure the length of your bed to the nearest foot. My bed was about 8 feet. Convert your measurement to inches. So one foot, I wrote it in purple, one foot equals 12 inches, so I need to take my 8 feet and multiply it by 12. Now, I like to line my numbers up like this. I put the bigger number on top. I'm going to use our U.S. traditional method. So first, 8 times, I multiply my 1's. 8 times 2 is 16. I put my 6 from my 16 underneath my other 1's and carry my 110 remaining. 8 then I have to multiply my 8 by my 10s. So 8 times 1 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So my bed is about 96 inches. Now it says record the weight on the food package in pounds. So how many pounds was it? Maybe you're weighing meats or you're weighing produce like apples or oranges or whatever. And you convert that into ounces. I'm going to underline that in orange up at the top. So whatever this is, you're taking this number and multiplying it by 16. Your practice says make an estimate then solve using US traditional multiplication. Show your work, use your estimate to check your ans it, that your answer makes sense. So f first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to estimate to the nearest tenth. So I'm looking at my 5, and I have to then look at my 1's. It's above 5, so I'm going to round up, which means I change my 5 to a 6. So I'm going to estimate 360, and then 8 is 2 away from 10, so I'm going to round up to 10 equals. So I know anything times 10, I just add another 0 to it. However many zeros I'm adding is what I add, so 300. 3,600. So now, using the U.S. traditional multiplication, I'm going to multiply down below. So first I do my 1's times my 1's, so 8 times 8 is 64, so I have 
a four in the one spot. It goes underneath my ones column. I carry my six on top because I have six tens that cannot fit into my ones. So my six must go above the five. My next step is to multiply my tens by eight. So my tens is five. So eight times five is 40 plus six, because I have to add my tens up there, is 60. Now, if this part is still tricky of you, think of our partial product. So I would have 300 times eight plus 50 times eight plus eight times eight. So I already know that this is 64 plus, and we know this is 400. So then 40 plus 6 is 46. So I've used it 64. Now I have 46. So my 6 now goes underneath my 10s, and I carry my 4. Now... I have to do my 100s times my 8. So 8 times 3 is 24, plus 4 equals 28. Or, yep, 28. So I can check it. That wasn't very close, but I round it up. Now, if I'm looking at my bottom, 8 times 300, so that'd be 2400. So if I add all these together, 2,400 plus 400 is 2,800 plus 64, so equals 28. 0 plus 6 is 6. 0 plus 4 is 4. My two ant my partial products and my traditional match and my estimate is a little off, but it does make some sense because I rounded up. Try 6 on your own.